Greetings and a hearty welcome to all our viewers. If you haven't already, do subscribe to our channel for more exciting content. Today, we delve into a riveting story of cultural discovery as we recount the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's intriguing visit to Colombia. As the day dawned, the royal pair alighted from their Toyota Land Cruiser amidst the bustling streets of Colombia. Their destination? The Tambores de Cabildo Music School, a beacon of cultural heritage and a testament to the vibrant spirit of Colombia. The air was thick with anticipation, the locals eagerly awaiting their distinguished guests, their faces lit up with warm smiles and open hearts, ensuring the safety of the Duke and Duchess was of utmost importance. The surroundings were secured, with police and security personnel forming a protective ring around the beachside venue. The couple's commitment to learning about the rich, diverse communities of Colombia was evident in their decision to visit, despite the heavy security detail. Megan, ever the fashion icon, stepped out in an outfit that was a beautiful blend of elegance and style, perfectly mirroring the vibrant atmosphere of the locale. Harry, as charming as ever, greeted the locals with an affable smile, their enthusiasm infectious and heartwarming. Their arrival wasn't just a simple visit, it was a statement, an affirmation of their dedication to understanding the social processes associated with ethnic communities, their fight against racism and discrimination, and their support for transformative initiatives in vulnerable areas. The Duke and Duchess's genuine interest in the people and culture of Colombia was palpable, their presence promising to strengthen the bonds between the country and the royal couple. Their arrival was not just a testament to their commitment, but a promise of an enriching day ahead. Stay tuned as we continue to unravel the Duke and Duchess's Colombian journey, a tale of cultural discovery, understanding and mutual respect. The venue, a beachside music school, was a sight to behold. Tambores de Cabildo, nestled along the sun-kissed coastline, hummed with a vibrant energy that was as infectious as it was inspiring. The school, a beacon of cultural preservation and education, stood as a testament to the rich musical heritage of Colombia. Megan, always the epitome of grace and style, was dressed in an outfit that seemed to blend seamlessly with the spirited atmosphere. Her attire, elegant yet understated, perfectly mirrored the vibrancy of her surroundings. As for the locals, their enthusiasm was palpable. They greeted the royal couple with a warmth and eagerness that was heartening to witness. Despite the heavy security presence, which was a necessary measure to ensure the safety of the Duke and Duchess, the atmosphere remained light and welcoming. The welcoming ambience of the venue perfectly mirrored the locals' eagerness to share their rich culture. This was not just an ordinary visit, it was a remarkable moment for both the Duke and Duchess and Columbia. Let's delve into the significance of this visit, shall we? As the Duke and Duchess of Sussex stepped into the heart of this vibrant community, they carried with them a powerful agenda. Their day was not merely filled with pleasantries and photo opportunities. No, it was a dedicated exploration into the social processes associated with Colombia's ethnic communities. Their aim? To gain a deeper understanding of the fight against racism and discrimination that these communities face on a daily basis. But their interest didn't stop at understanding. Harry and Meghan were there to support transformative initiatives in vulnerable areas. Their commitment to social justice and equality was on full display. They didn't just observe, they engaged, they learned, they connected on a human level. Their visit was a testament to their dedication to use their platform and influence for good. They were there to listen, to learn, and to lend their voices to those who are often unheard. They were there to shine a light on the issues that matter and to bring about change where it's needed most. And it's not just about what they take away from this visit, but also about what they leave behind. The Duke and Duchess, were not just royal visitors, they were ambassadors of goodwill, of understanding and of mutual respect. They were there to forge a connection, to build a bridge between cultures and to foster a sense of unity and shared humanity. Their genuine interest in the culture and people of Colombia was not just admirable, it was inspiring. It was a beacon of hope that stronger bonds can be formed when we take the time to understand and appreciate each other's unique cultures and experiences. Their visit was a powerful reminder that we are all part of the same global community and that we all have a role to play in making it a better place. 
their genuine interest in the culture and people of Colombia was a beacon of hope for stronger bonds. As they delved into the heart of Colombia's culture, it was evident that this was more than a trip. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex were not mere spectators, but active participants in the cultural tapestry of the Colombian community. They immersed themselves in the local customs, partook in traditional dances and sampled the unique, vibrant flavours of the Colombian cuisine. Every conversation, every handshake, every shared laugh was an opportunity for Harry and Meghan to learn and connect on a deeper level with the people of this vibrant country. Their interest in the local customs was not just a fleeting curiosity, but a genuine desire to understand the nuances of the Colombian way of life. They engaged in meaningful conversations with local artists, farmers and community leaders, gaining insights into the challenges and triumphs of these individuals. Their questions were thoughtful, their attention undivided, their respect for the culture unwavering. Among the many activities, one of the highlights was their participation in a traditional Colombian dance. Their attempt to keep up with the rhythm, their laughter echoing in the air, their faces lit up with joy, all showcased their willingness to embrace the unknown and their appreciation for the rich Colombian traditions. But it was not all fun and games. They also visited local schools, hospitals and community centres, witnessing firsthand the daily struggles and the inspiring resilience of the Colombian people. They listened to stories of hardship, of hope, of dreams for a better future, and pledged their support to the people, reinforcing their commitment to social justice and humanitarian causes. Through their journey, Harry and Meghan have shown that they are not just royal figures, but individuals with a genuine interest in understanding and appreciating the diverse cultures of the world. Their willingness to step out of their comfort zone, to learn, to listen, to engage, is a testament to their character and their dedication to creating a world that celebrates diversity and fosters understanding. Their journey into the cultural labyrinth of Colombia was a testament to their commitment to understanding and appreciating diverse cultures. The impact of this visit was not just limited to the couple but extended to the entire country. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex's journey into the heart of Colombia was not only a cultural exploration but a meaningful statement of solidarity and recognition. Their willingness to delve into the vibrant tapestry of Colombian culture, to understand its unique rhythms, its struggles against discrimination and its transformative initiatives resonated deeply with the people. The couple's visit was a beacon of hope a signal that the world was watching and appreciating the strides Colombia has made in recent years. It was a testament to the resilience and spirit of the Colombian people, a celebration of their rich heritage and an acknowledgement of their efforts to create a more inclusive and equitable society. Moreover, the visit was a catalyst for strengthening bonds and Colombia. It was a step towards a future of mutual respect, understanding and cooperation a future where cultural exchange and appreciation become the cornerstone of international relations. The Duke and Duchess's visit also opened up the prospect of similar visits in the future. It set a precedent for other members of the global community to follow, a call to action to engage with, understand and support diverse cultures and societies. Such visits, as we've seen, can have a profound impact, fostering a sense of unity, inspiring change and promoting a deeper understanding of the world's diverse cultural landscape. In the grand scheme of things, Harry and Meghan's visit was more than a mere cultural discovery. It was a bridge between two countries, a catalyst for change, and an affirmation of the power of empathy and understanding. As the couple continues their Colombian tour, we can hope that their journey will inspire others to follow in their footsteps promoting a world where cultural diversity is celebrated, not just acknowledged. Their visit promised a future of mutual respect, understanding and cooperation. As we reach the end of this enlightening journey, it's time to bid adieu. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex's visit to Colombia is more than just a trip. It's a testament to their commitment to understanding the vibrant communities, their fight against racism and discrimination, and their support for transformative initiatives in vulnerable areas. This remarkable moment not only resonated with Harry and Meghan, but also left a profound impact on the country. The couple's genuine interest in the culture and people of Colombia was palpable, promising to strengthen the bonds between the country and the royal couple. This visit is a reminder that every journey, every interaction, is an opportunity to learn and grow. 
So, let's stay curious and open to new experiences. And remember, if you enjoyed this journey with us, please subscribe, like and share our content. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Until next time, goodbye.